What's up YouTube? This is to Profit YouTube here and we're going to keep on talking about the linear transformations. In this case, they're going to talk about the linear transformations of polynomials of order 1 to polynomials of order 2. As you can see in Spanish here on the screen. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll do my best to change it a little. So let it be the transformation of polynomials of order 1. As you can see, a times t plus b is equals to a t, t squared plus a minus bt. And we're going to find the nucleus and we're going to find the image, which is letter B. Or maybe you can, uh, as well as known as the range, as sometimes it is sometimes called. And for this, uh, we would like to go over some stuff, a little stuff, to yeah, just to make sure we get the right answer. So the dimension of the starting point, which is going to be the polynomials of order 1, it's equals to the dimension of the kernel plus the dimension of the range or the image of this transformation. So we need to take something really uh, take something into account. The first, the first two, you know, the dimension of the starting point and the kernel are related to the starting point, and the dimension of the image is related to the you know the finish point which is in this case the polynomials of order 2 here okay <laughs> that's very simple right it'll, it'll get us out of trouble a lot of trouble it'll save us a lot of trouble so we need to find first of all the kernel or the nucleus of this transformation which is only the set of vectors that the, which the transformation is equals to zero. So that's what we're going to do. So we take a times t squared plus a minus t, and that's equals to zero t squared plus zero times t. So for this, we know that a is equals to zero, right? That's pretty easy. And a minus b is equals to zero. That'll help us a lot. So that means that a minus b is equals to zero, so a is equals to b. And since a is equals to zero, b is equals to zero. So that means that the vector we get for the kernel is zero, zero. There you go. And if we put it in another notation, that'll be t, the zero t, okay plus zero. Here we have it. Yeah, since, okay, so if we find a null space, right? So the dimension of this is equals to zero. That means the dimension of the image or the range, it's going to be one. Uh, we know that because for the equation we uh, begin with. So now we're going to find the uh, image or the range and for that we're gonna use the kinetic base and we're gonna just substitute on the equation so that means that 1 0 the transformation of 1 0 of the vector 1 0 is equals to t squared as you can see there minus uh, plus t of course yeah you replace a for 1 and b for 0 and you do the same for the next vector which is gonna be 0 t and that and the answer is minus t as you can see, the only one alive is t because a is equal to zero. So the range, it's gonna be the polynomial t squared plus t and minus t. And that is the range or the image. And as you can see, it's only one vector. So uh, the dimension of the starting point is equals to zero plus one. So please don't drop a like, show your love, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.